What's going on YouTube? My name is Trey Kepsel and this is Elk Motorsports. This is just gonna be a real short video. I got a comment um, in my last video asking about the tool holders that I have on the back door of my tin top. So I'm just gonna show y'all what those are and where you can pick them up at. All right guys, this is an assortment of the tie downs that I'm using to hold the tools. They're actually made by a company called Quick Fist. They come in a variety of different sizes. This is their mini. As you can see, it's really small. And then they have their standard <clears throat> that's actually mounted on the back plate that's on the rear door of my Samurai. They're still on there. And then they even have one that they say will hold a fire extinguisher which is pretty cool it's got these two dimples and it's got this one hole in the middle to mount it they all have this the mini has four holes to mount but it actually has the one mini it has the one hole in the center and then these ones come with a hole in the center and it comes with this plastic um, like kind of washer that is tapered they say you're supposed to use a quarter by 20 um, bolt that's one of those machine head bolts I just bought the hardware from Lowe's it's just stainless steel hardware I got a washer I got a nylon locking nut and I forgot the length I don't really know the length it's probably uh, about an inch and a half I guess you need to accommodate for this distance and whatever thickness the material you're gonna go into is but they're real nice and convenient. You can mount them anywhere. I'll show you the mini axe that I have and then just take these tabs and flip them down and they'll just kind of lock in to these pre-cut grooves. I don't have a problem driving down the road and these staying in the position that I locked them in. They don't rattle, they don't make any noise. These mounts are rubber which is really nice, you mount them on a piece of metal and they don't vibrate, they don't make any noise. You can over tighten them and distort this plastic washer. You could suck it down too far, uh, but you could just back it out. Um, these ones right here, you do need to use the plastic washer, otherwise that tapered machine screw will start to suck through the rubber and it, I guess it could pop off. On the back door of the Samurai, I see the bottom plate. I took off to show you the shovel. And I just drilled a hole. I just put them about where I thought I wanted them. Drilled a hole. Reached up on the back side, held the washer in the nut, and used a Phillips head screwdriver to screw these on. And I mean, they, they'll, you could twist them around a little bit, but once you have whatever you want locked in, it's not gonna go anywhere. I have the minis up here holding my breaker bar, my, lock, my wheel lock key, and then I have just a little Gerber knife held on by one of the minis right here too. There's a place here locally in town that I can actually pick these up at. I didn't get them there. I actually bought them on Amazon, which I will link in the description of what they are and where to get them. Which now brings me to the second question in the comments of my last video. They asked me about my center console of my truck. So let me show you guys that real quick. So the second question I got about the Samurai is the center console that I have in it and asking to show a little bit more of it. Um, the brand that makes this one in particular is called Tuffy. It's really nice, it comes with the cup holders that can either mount in the back or They've got, where are they at? There they are, there's two. Let me see if I can get a flashlight on here. So you can see those two little dimples. Those are covers that are covering screw holes. You can actually mount the cup holders right there in the middle. I don't have them there anymore because these seats that I got from Zooks Off-Road are a lot wider. So it interfered, the cup holder interfered with mounting them correctly. So I had to move them to the back, which isn't really a problem. They're still both back there. They're really nice. It comes with that. 
it comes with these it has a very nice anti pry bracket right here for this to lock into so you can't really pry it it's really nice for soft tops really nice and secure it's made out of really nice heavy gauge heavier gauge sheet metal the only thing that I was talking about before so you've looked down there that's how you mount it with four bolts and it's pretty much dead center of the samurai so I couldn't even reach it. I actually had to drop the bolts down I had to climb underneath and then I had to hold on to the bolts and thread with the nut and then I have air tools so I was able to use an impact to zip them fast enough that they threaded on so now on the underside of the truck it's probably a little difficult to see but right here this is the e-brake cable. And then that bolt right there and this bolt right here are the bolts for the seat belt. That bolt right there and there's another one right underneath this e-brake cable. You can see it best right there. Those are the two front bolts for the center console. And then right, those two bolts right there are the back bolts for the center console. Well off driver, I hope that those were the answers you were looking for as far as the information on the rear tool holders, those quick fists and the center console as far as how it was mounted. I saw a little bit of your video and I saw how close you were. You, you probably won't have a problem putting a, that center console in there. And that's it for this video. If you guys like the content, hit a like. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on what I've got going on in the shop. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.